Welcome back to the Aquarium Network. Designing, installing, and maintaining aquariums in New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut since 1969. The Cuban hogfish, or Bodianus pulcullus, is native to the Caribbean Sea. They are mainly found in the tropical waters of the western Atlantic, between South Carolina and Venezuela. Cuban hogs are very popular due to their bright colors and relatively small size. An orange-red sheen covers their head and body with a patch of yellow around the tail and a white streak under the mouth and across the pectoral fins. Sometimes these fish are also called the spot fin hogfish because of the presence of a black spot below the forward dorsal fin on some fish. Another reason they are so popular is their easy care level. If you have a big enough aquarium and are willing to feed frozen food, the Cuban hog can be kept by a novice. Since they are carnivores, you will need to feed them meaty foods like frozen prawn, squid, mysis shrimp, or even brine shrimp for smaller hogs. The Cuban hog can grow up to a maximum size of 11 inches in the wild, but they generally average around 8 inches. Since most hobbyists buy them in the 2 to 3 inch range, it is important to make sure your aquarium will be able to handle their adult size. I suggest a minimum aquarium size of 100 gallons to keep them happy. Cuban hogs could be kept in a reef tank, but with extreme caution. They won't pick on your corals, but they will eat your crustaceans, since that is their primary food source in the wild. It's best not to put them in any aquarium with shrimp, snails, or crabs, just to be on the safe side. They can be kept with almost any other tank mate, however, as they are generally very peaceful. If you introduce two male hogfish to the same aquarium, though, they will fight for territory, sometimes to the death. So it is best to keep it to one Cuban hog per tank, unless you have a very large aquarium. For more information on the Cuban hog and other saltwater fish, please visit our blog at aquariumnetwork.net forward slash blog.